Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCB Aero Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbarolabs.org. In our earlier video, we talked about how to tune a PID controller parameter directly from a tool built in in MATLAB. In this video, we will talk about optimization algorithm and specifically the genetic algorithm based optimization uh, for tuning the parameters of a PID controller. So let's open MATLAB and let's let's first create a system which we want to simulate. So let's close all and clear all. So let's define our transfer function type and let's say let's define the plant we can say that is 1 divided by s square plus 20 into s plus 20 and let's say how the system respond uh, close open loop transfer function of the system let's first save it mm, PID optimization and save it mm, undefined for me oh, access So its step response clearly visible it is not going to up to the 1 and in maximum is 0 0.01 so we need a feedback controller there. So let's define a controller now and suppose uh, controller has three parameters KP, KI and KD. Right now we don't know any value of this KP, KI and KD. So we can take, we can take any random values of this KP suppose it's 100 and let's say it's let's say take ki 200 and kd 50 and then we define a controller transfer function that is kp plus ki by s plus kd into s and Let's take the transfer from step response of feedback. Taking feedback plant into controller gain, comma unity because it is a unity feedback gain. And let's see. Now let's see how the system respond. Mm, so it's very bad. Uh, for other reasons, it is going to three at 3.5, saying but the response is not. Uh, clearly visible or clearly it's not good or oh, we can say 200 and 300 and let's run, run it again okay so still the response is not that very visible 10 minute bath they then Okay. So now we will uh, we know uh, this uh, changing the values of KPI KD will uh, improve the response of the uh, closed loop system, but we don't know exactly what should be the value. So there is one way like we can go through as we in earlier video we can go through the uh, tuning block, and sometimes we also need uh, for better optimization or for better tuning of the control we go for the optimization. And there is this particular video will talk about a genetic algorithm based optimization. So now we will move to genetic, uh, genetic algorithm based optimization. So for any optimization, first we need to define the cost function uh, or the objective function which needs to be minimized because most of the optimization algorithm minimize the cost function. So we will talk about abs uh, time absolute uh, error based optimization that means we will be minimizing ITAE value of the <coughs> controller parameters. So first we will define our function that is function and j. Now as we know function name should be equal to the file name. So we will take optim and 
we are taking the variable as x remaining will be the same the only thing will be as this x will be first part will be of kp values second will be of ki and third is of kd so this x is the variable uh, which will be changed by the algor uh, genetic algorithm and we assign these values by this fashion now we need to define the absolute error so for taking the absolute error because this step function clearly gives the step response of the system so we need to do certain changes or we need to uh, find the step response uh, of the controller over a period of time so what we will do we will define a time sample is first so let's say copy and then accept. okay so let's say dt equals to 0 0.01 and and let's say d equals to dt to 1 so this data is the sampling instant we are taking 0.01 as a sample instant and then uh, we will create this we will take the error so error uh, is equal to 1 minus over the entire length what is the error the step of feedback of this uh, plant into Controller from a one over the length of, of this time period. Yes, and then uh, we will define our cost function as j is plus two. Well, this is the it ABS, so sum of t dash into absolute of error and then into dt. So you can find in any literature for optimization of ITAE uh, er, uh, error of uh, uh, this controller response. So this is our, our cost function is our, our cost function is ready. Now we need to invoke uh, the uh, we need to invoke the genetic algorithm for optimization. So let's go to apps and then open this optimization toolbox yes there are several optimization solver we will select this genetic algorithm here we need to define a fitness function fitness function is the same name as we say uh, about the cost function or uh, um, objective function so the way of writing it because uh, we are optimizing at the um, value of x and then PID underscore OPT optim and then X. Now uh, one should be uh, noted that uh, the current path of this uh, function or uh, the current path of this function uh, should be there uh, in the current current directory or this function should be in the current working directory of the method. Now we have number of variables as x. We have three different variables, so we'll define here three, and we can define a bound. So that uh, is for good starting. So we say uh, lower bound is zero zero, and we are saying upper bound okay 500, 500, and 500. Let it be decided like how many uh, what values uh, should take. Now, if there are certain inequalities or certain equality condition which uh, our controller should satisfy, so we can also provide the link uh, of those equality or inequality here too. Now, the only thing we need to do is start it, and if everything is fine, uh, this will start working, and we will be uh, getting the changed value of this KPKIKD here. Right now, there is one more thing because we are taking the step response uh, of every uh, single iteration. 
so uh, the system will be a little slow but first we'll take it uh, to demonstrate how the values are changing over the period of time and then we will uh, move uh, for, we will remove it so let's start it so optimization is running so everything is fine now if you see this kp ki and kd values are changing and the step response as i said it uh, uh, because uh, uh, these values are changing very fast and it takes some time so uh, response is little bit slower but uh, we will wait for some time to see whether this changes or not i hope fully it changes because this is the current iteration is only one rather like just like it changes or the single best iteration So, uh, if we require to or if we want to monitor the every values of uh, this KPI, KPI, we can make it open. But let's stop it for this now. And even after stopping, because this was taking too much time, it will take uh, uh, many values after stopping. Now it's stopped. So we will comment it this for the file. So the system response will be a little bit faster so now let's again start it so everything is fine and this fitness function uh, i hope it's uh, very clear to you this detail at x the id of x or i should like the uh, name should be written there as at x and the function name so this should be written here in the fitness function option. so now let's run it again uh, it's uh, moving fast and we can also check uh, uh, how are and because we are returning the value of j and we want to minimize it so we can plot function like best fitness so for each iteration uh, this graph will keep us showing like what is the value of fitness function which it is receiving. So these are different different values and this current iteration is 7 and it also shows the best individual till now of the values. If we click here uh, it will show us the best individual value. So till now this is the KP, KI and KD values and now when it will stop we will get the exact values of KP, KI and K. So let's wait for some time. And depending on the uh, problem statement, this may take uh, time from several minutes to several hours to several days. Because for PID case, uh, the objective function is very easy, so that is taking it to very fast but suppose you are tuning up parameters of more than five parameters or you are tuning up fuzzy logic controller in, uh, in those cases uh, sometimes this uh, optimization algorithm takes more than one day or two days again further not to mention that depending on the computer configurations so we can change like what are various options we have let's say ring distance Range. They all if we pick everything they will keep on adding here. Yeah, this is uh, by stopping. This is a uh, percentage of criteria met by stopping criteria of uh, uh, this uh, uh, genetic algorithm. So it uh, keeps on counting like how many generations have been passed and percentage of criteria met like how much. Uh, suppose we have a number, uh, we can say like uh, this is the stopping criteria based on uh, number of iteration, based on the change in the value of uh, fitness function. If that is in within the range, so even then uh, this can stop.
so these are just for monitoring parameters so our current best is 0.026 and mean changes in the current values of uh, of this best fit is 0.0 so let it run and then we will check when it stops Uh, so it feels like our criteria is met and these are the various parameters or oh, we can get the values kpki kd and if we see the value of kpki kd based on the optimizations are coming to be 245 9.8 490 500 and 24.8 so uh, this is based on the genetic algorithm tuning so now what we will do, we will try to check the response of the system whether on this value the response is coming out to be true. So we created a new file, a new editor file, uh, the same. The only thing is uh, we have defined now KP value is 249.8, KI 500 and KD 25.8. And the plant transfer function is same and control transfer function is also same. So let's run it. So oh, now you can see it clearly uh, it is there is no oscillation and it is within 0.2 seconds it is coming out to be the uh, steady state and that means we can say the uh, response is pretty much very good based on those values of the PIV controller. So <clears throat> I hope you can learn you learn like how to use this genetic algorithm for uh, PID controller tuning and if you have any doubt or any suggestions either you can comment on this video or you can uh, visit our, our website www.jcbrolabs.org and you can leave your comments there as well so that's it for this year with this video thank you